Now, there's no doubt about it that by far, Disney and Lucasfilm are really attempting to course correct the franchise, really bring it back to the basics, back to where Star Wars was before Disney really took over Lucasfilm back in 2012, where a lot of fans were, you know, really kind of just moving on from the prequel trilogy and really just wanting more Star Wars content at the time. It was a very interesting time, by the way, back then, because after 2005, we had George Lucas working on his live action series that so many fans were really getting excited about and that eventually just fell apart and got cancelled. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support and let's get right into exactly what's going on here. Now look, when we look at Star Wars, my favorite elements of it are the prequels, I love that trilogy, I love the originals, but when it comes to the sequels, and I've made this statement many times, is that I like bits and pieces. I like specific scenes out of the sequel trilogy. I never really liked that trilogy on a consistent basis, like through and through. The original trilogies, you, you can just watch that from start to finish effortlessly. Same exact thing, at least for me, with the prequel trilogy, but not for me in the case of the sequels. That's what I found. But when we look at everything with Kathleen Kennedy and what she is currently doing with Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, we're going to be going over the bigger valid reasons why a lot of fans remain very skeptical and what Kathleen Kennedy had to say toward the fandom and about George Lucas, about the Star Wars franchise that just makes her seem very out of place. And she's getting very contra confrontational lately. I don't know why, but it might have a lot to do with the potential firing of her by this August. Let's get into it. Now, with Kathleen Kennedy currently preparing to finish up with Acolyte and Skeleton Crew as fast as she can, she is currently still having issues with both projects to this day. Now, in a recent interview, Kennedy went on to talk directly to the fandom by stating the following. Well, I'm beginning to notice that lots of fans are already judging these two shows by two extremely talented creators. I have been having the time of my life working with John and Leslie, and it's absolutely terrible that we have noticed the fandom already judging these shows, all because we are aiming to make these the most diversified projects, and also with The Acolyte, how it will be an all-female-led show. It's just disgusting to me, John, and Leslie that fans judge something like that so fast. By the way, guys, she's talking about John Watts, not John Favreau. She goes on to stay further, I think the problem is they are too stuck in this fantasy where Star Wars is about one vision and one vision only. It's why we decided to move away from George's vision and really just do something new with no familiar aspects of Star Wars to be shown. We felt that familiar elements of Star Wars in these shows were keeping us down to a bare minimum and using them sparingly to ensure this will be the most different take on Star Wars yet. So, what Kathleen Kennedy is saying here is that she is completely getting rid of anything that you know and love about Star Wars, about George Lucas, getting rid of all those, you know, familiar, what she calls aspects or elements, and really putting them in the trash. And basically she's doing what, what, with what Ryan Johnson was going to do with his trilogy, and that was taking away all the familiar pieces of the franchise. You know, we're talking about specific starships, worlds, music, um, lightsabers, stuff around those lines. Things like that are going to be used down to a bare minimum, she says, in the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, all right? And it's that thing that I think is really like worrying a lot of fans. And look, we all know that Star Wars is not just about lightsabers and space battles. I get that. I 100% understand that. But what she's saying here is that she's literally taking away all of the familiar pieces, visually speaking and thematically speaking. And when I mean thematically, I'm talking about the overall tone, the feel of Star Wars, the look of it. She's getting rid of all of that and using that, if they are using it, down to a very bare minimum is what she's saying here. And that, to me, guys, is very worrisome, but she does go on to say more crazy things. Let's tap into this real quick. So, she says, I would say it's so different that many fans may not think it's Star Wars at first, but it's going to grow on them. It's going to evolve into Star Wars, and that's what needs to be done. 
The answer to making Star Wars better is to shift away from familiar elements. It's why we did what we did with Galaxy's Edge. This is where she gets a little nuts. And we have found that to be wildly successful. Here we go. Especially the Star Cruiser experience. We have noticed many fans have been enjoying that through and through. The majority of fans love this attraction. And we feel by applying that strategy to Acolyte and Skeleton Crew in the form of shows, a very different experience that will grow into Star Wars again. We felt it was time to make this decision a while ago and we are making it happen. So, not necessarily about Galaxy's Edge, but she's saying that she's applying the concept of the Star Cruiser Hotel to the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew show. And as you all know, a lot of fans are very unhappy with the Star Cruiser Hotel or the experience, whatever you want to call it. Um, because it's so different. It's so wildly different, in fact, from Star Wars, where it feels more like a blend of a mixture of Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, and all these different, you know, franchises out there. It doesn't have familiar aspects, like she says, of Star Wars. And she's using that as a model to throw into Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. And this is where I say that she's losing her mind is because... A lot of fans just do not like the Star Cruiser experience. And whatever fans like the Star Cruiser experience, hey, look, I'm going to say this right now, it's perfectly fine. You know, you have your opinion on things, nobody's going to change anybody's mind on anything, so I'm not here to do that. If you like that, you like that. But the majority of fans, or at least the hardcore fans, absolutely dread the Star Cruiser experience. It's so bad, in fact, that they are having a lot of trouble getting a lot of reservations booked up and even lowering prices at one point in time so that's how bad the foot traffic was getting i guess you could say for the overall experience and how she's using that as a model for acolyte and skeleton crew is crazy it's like she never wants to admit any kind of failure or mistake until it's years later you guys may have noticed that the same applied to solo she didn't admit that mistake until like 2020, years later, since its 2018 release. So it's a prime example of Kathleen Kennedy never owning her mistakes until whatever mishaps they had is all old, said, and done with. Then she'll open up about it. And I would not be too surprised if she opens up about the sequel trilogy really not performing that well on a fan-driven level. Yes, box office-wise it did well, but on a fan-driven level not so much. And so it's interesting that the Acolyte and Skeleton crew are getting these treatments where it's shifting away from the core philosophy of Star Wars. Again, I've said this several times, you know, when it comes to Galaxy's Edge, when it comes to the Star Cruiser experience, they could have done several amazing rides. A Darth Vader castle, you know, drop experience, kind of like the Tower of Terror or something like that. Just for starters, right there is a great idea. But I digress, you know, when we look at stuff like this, Kathleen Kennedy, I think, just does not have her head on straight when it comes to developing Star Wars shows. So, guys, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.